right, let's watch this in full first. We got a parkour shot. I don't know what the sound effects are, but beep, 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 beep. there's no shooting. All right, cool. I think main reaction is that there could be a bit more variety in the body mechanics and kind of general posing from here on. There's a lot of stuff until here that feels a bit similar. We can kind of push the squash and stretch and, and kind of the variety of it a bit. And it's also fairly long. Let's see, 262 frames. This is cool. I do like that. Let's go. So it's all stepped. It's a bit stroby as well. Let's kind of watch out for all that stuff there. But that's a tricky thing with moving cameras and stepped item here. Just watch out. This has me a bit of concern. Has me a bit of a concern. Is a bit of a concern to me <laughs> how quickly we go down here. So I'll be curious to see that in spline. I think it's fine to have obviously extended hang time and then zippy down. But I think given the beginning here that it's not super stylized, that is a bit much. I think you're going to need one more in there between these two. It might just be a bit zippy once you spline this. But I like the general action. The clean silhouettes there. You might even go a bit lower in your anticipation for a push off. She's fairly the same height and then goes into a... Pretty high jump up there. So I think we might be able to have a little bit of a down and then fa -pong up there. That's cool. Clean silhouette into this. The other thing too is that she is not super fast in her run. So when she jumps up, she's going to lose even more forward momentum and energy. And this feels almost more like a jump lean. And you always expected her to kind of come down here. But now we have a really strong forward push. So in your mechanics... Either going to do like a big swing with the legs, pushing off with this arm so that there's a frame in between where she would be, imagine this whole character would be here, but then this arm would be back there. So it's kind of like a, a, let's go back if we have a frame here. So this is her pulling herself forward into this. I feel like there's some information miss missing between these two. And I'll definitely watch out for the speed. Let me see. I think you're going to be okay with the camera. I think you are actually anticipating a bit too early. But again, once you spline this, it might be okay. Make sure that the character leads. Because it's fine here. I like that we're even breaking frame a bit. Just right now, it's a bit early. And then you might even correct up again after the drop. So you go down and go back up so we're not so cut off here. Then the other thing is she rolls into this. Then it feels like she would be leaning forward. Not that dramatically, but you know, there would be kind of a lean uh, to get into the next thing. But then we're this high. It feels like this would almost be a jump somewhere. But we're going into a massive straight and then just kind of forward. If that makes sense. So to me, if you do this, it would almost be into a jump. And if you're going from this to an actual just run forward. Instead of these two, I would have her leaned more forward, if that makes sense in my awesome drawing. And then over time, you're getting into this straighter pose. So I'm not quite sure if I would keep her that high and that straight so early. That being said, if you do and you do something in between here to make that work, I do like the idea of her this and then lower, just for contrast to break it up a bit. I think that's pretty neat. So I don't want to lose that. I like the idea that you're breaking things up. So it's not just bam, and then go a cycle going forward, which is more what I'm feeling here. Once you're here, I think this gets a bit repetitive. If you had something where she would have to go suddenly lower, jump over a little thing, or dodge something that swings by, or something of more interest. To me, it feels like you can go into and go like on this frame it would already be here like this would be happening way earlier and cutting that section out i know that's a very destructive note but just personally it's already long and i feels like there's not that much happening here then for something that's this far again i would go into like a much deeper anticipation into like a really like stretching out maybe legs a bit more and really pushing that and then you can 
So it gives you a great option. I have to have a huge compression there. But even then, it just feels like she's always straight, straight, straight into this. And I feel like through all of this, we could have changes in her upper body. Maybe not, you know, not like she's dragging that far, but just a bit more contrast. And again, not that much information through there. But definitely going through a little squash. Compression here is great. I do like this pose, though. And then, then she feels a bit timid. It's like, there's so much energy and distance she covers. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, she almost like, ah, oh, I'm going to miss it. Ah, It's most also because you're staying in your bent legs. You won't have a full extension on that. Like, everything feels kind of like she's super hesitating. So a straighter out into, into that is going to help. And even this feels a bit soft and oh, that. It's, it's kind of slow, so this section can kind of speed up a bit. It's almost like you can have a little bit of a pause compression, which you have, maybe a bit lower, then go a bit further. You might have to move this out into that. And this seems weird. Like here, she gets ready. I almost feel like, okay, she's going with something really huge, but then not really. Then she gets onto this. What is she doing? She's holding on sideways to do backflip into that into another turn and then it goes back into almost a cycle blip, 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 blip. so but that's very subjective i'm not sure if you need this because i also looking at it in terms of let's pretend this is on your reel like what are you showing okay we got a jump and like a long drop for compression which goes into a roll that's cool i like it but we have a jump we have a jump we have a jump we have a roll and they have another jump. You have a lot of jumps. So I know that this is now a very destructive note. But I would look at what are different things you can show off in your mechanics. Because right now with this, you end it early. You already have a jump, land, compression, roll, run, bam. That's it. That's all you need in your shot. After that, it just gets a bit repetitive. To be honest, that's just, again, it's very subjective, very destructive too, because you would have to change things. That being said, let's pretend you are open to that. Then it would be something, all right, well, what else could we do in terms of mechanics? Maybe now there is a hole and then there's a, a cord and she has to jump and then she holds on and swings with this. Maybe there's another one here and she has to swing. She holds on to it with one arm. The other arm reaches for the next one. For a different type of mechanics, and then that one maybe not, not maybe not have two, but like holding on to a rope and swinging would be interesting new kind of mechanics. And maybe once you land, it's not this, but it's more like an edge that has a slide. I know I'm getting into like a, a, a child's playground, but then a slide down into something could be an interesting mechanic. Into maybe there's more water, and then she's sliding onto something that where it, she kind of surfs from A to B. <laughs> That's getting kind of crazy. Or maybe this is rooftop, and now this is kind of like a canopy, whatever you want to call this, for like a storefront. And then the land would be into higher. So now you have elasticity, different kind of properties of surface that you can play around with the mechanics. Um, maybe just to jump through a window, and she gets like Trinity style, gets really straight through it, and then like it changes and forces the posing. You know what I mean? Like something like that. It could be something where this is adding way too much work. Don't do this. But she would be off and then, you know, a rooftop and then you got people here. Maybe there's a market and they're just kind of, or like a bus stop. And they're just standing there reading newspapers. And then she jumps from head to head onto the next rooftop building. And they go like, hey, what's going on? Like smaller animation, but something like that. Or... I don't know, balcony, and then you got bikes and, and motorcycles, and she jumps from that, like, kind of like, uh, what is it, pit, I can't remember, like, pitfall, is that the old video game, where you have alligators, and it jumps and jumps from that, you mean, like, something where it's, you introduce different areas of danger, conflict, push poses, sliding, like I said, like, over something else, or, I don't know, like there are many other things, but I don't want to continue because I don't know how much your, you know, your brain is bleeding from my crazy ideas of, well, this is so destructive. Why would I change all of this? So I'm going to leave it at that. You let me know how far you want to go in terms of changes. 
if you want to just keep this and shorten it um and so on again whatever whatever your thoughts are i am here to help you so whatever you want to do i will uh help you with that all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you